me call the uh, kitchen. How are you feeling? Excellent. How are you? Sorry, that's a stupid question. I heard um, Tegan's mum was here. Yeah, she took Darcy home. Why? It's Tegan's. They took it off her when the Ambos were treating her. I'll make sure they get it. Thanks. Rex, there are counsellors that you can talk to if you need to. I'm right, I'm right. Is this bad luck? Is this really bad luck? Anyway. So what now? I'm gonna tell my brother his girlfriend's dead. Not between you and me. Out of respect, nothing. The next time I see you, you're dead. You and your cop girlfriend. Stick tight, dog. I heard you were the first one at the accident. Yeah, I held her hand and I told her it was going to be okay. How well did you know her? <laughs> well enough to hate each other. She was my exact opposite, the anti-Charlie. I don't know, I guess after what happened yesterday, I. Realising the end, we're just two women who... Two women who... Loving it's stupid. Hey, it's me you're talking to. Two women who what? Two women who love the same guy. Brax! Yes. We were seeing each other for a couple of months a while back, but we're not anymore. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's one word to describe it. Idiotic, crazy, reckless as a few others. Heartbroken? Yep. Ooh, that too. I'm, I'm an idiot. You're not an idiot. Come on. Career police officer falls for leader of a gang who's got links to crime. Brain and heart, two completely different organs, very rarely communicate with each other. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't been communicating for months. I mean, I used to laugh at girls like this. These bad boy groupies. There's a bad boy groupie in all of us. I mean, we love the danger and the excitement and the quiet side that only you know about. Yes, and then you start thinking, oh, well, maybe I can change him. You know, maybe he just needs someone who understands him. Who are we kidding? Bad boys never change. What are you staring at? No, nothing but. I'm just wondering why I'm not dead yet. Guess you have to get your morning latte in first, is you? Yeah, there's been a change of plans. You see, Jake wants to see you sub before we take you out. No. He wants me to fix your girlfriend first. Finally. No, I have to do it slowly. <laughs> Stop, 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 and me, because of what happened to Jake. Now, I don't care what happens to me, but I think it would be best if you avoid him until all this is sorted. I appreciate the heads up, but if there is any sorting, I am going to be the one doing it. Oof. Nasty. Want to tell us what happened? I fell over. <laughs> what, like 15 times? We heard you got into a fight with Dale Braxton. Didn't happen. People saw it happen. 
You're not very helpful, are you? Gee, sorry. OK, then. Do you remember the threat you made against my life? <laughs> Why would I do that? Don't know. Perhaps a bit of revenge for putting your brother in jail? But that would be against the law. Exactly. So if anything happens to me, they'll come knocking on your door first. Right. Well, thanks for the heads up. We done here or what? Yeah. Now what? Try and keep the peace. I think we're going to be busy. You kind of made yourself all pretty. Tegan's mum asked me to watch Darcy or Savo while she organises a funeral and stuff. Yeah, right. Listen, I'll catch you later. That's not good. No, it's not. Want me to hang around? No, I'll take care of it. Oi, be smart. Yeah. Yeah, Ruby, where's, where's Charlie? Where? Sure, it's Hammer who ordered it. You and your brothers can leave. And that's how the story ends.